Howdy champs. My name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to create a, a, a full screen toggle button. The button that actually allows you to uh, toggle between the uh, full screen mode and the uh, normal mode or the normal screen, the normal size, right? Not only does it do that, uh, people let me tell you that when you are in the full screen uh, mode, uh, when you're set to the full screen mode you have four options that uh, can be further chosen no scale no border show all and exact fit right uh, before i explain uh, what these terms ex exactly mean it'll be good if i show you our published preview now whenever you you need to test the uh, full screen toggle button you don't hit control enter uh, and test it you have to test it from the debug uh, panel so either you can uh, hit control shift uh, enter right or else you can go to debug and say debug movie and then click on debug right so yep there you are now uh, <coughs> people have a look out here um, there's a button uh, with that uh, plus sign out here this was uh, generated entirely through action script okay uh, it gives you an indication that if you wish to go full screen you can click on this button which I'm gonna do so now right and as you can see there's uh, uh, this button actually changes the label from the full screen to the normal screen not only that there was a you know a small picture out here a small icon out here that has changed as well uh, it shows a cross uh, which is indicating that if you click you can close the full screen mode and indeed I can do that right uh, let me get back to the full screen mode okay now uh, there are certain options out here okay the default option whether you specify or not is always show all the other options are no scale no border uh, exact fit you see whenever we are in the um, the the uh, the um, full screen mode uh, these are uh, certain other options uh, you know that uh, we can choose from so let's try the no scale first uh, people as you can see that this will bring you down to the original size okay now let's see what no border actually does right you see the uh, option no border uh, although we are in the full screen mode uh, tries to zoom as much as possible and in doing so it may um, actually uh, you know crop certain areas which it has you see the fourth button has actually disappeared uh, but it does not uh, disturb uh, or alter the aspect ratio which is actually maintained right uh, now the show all actually shows everything that's there on the stage again there is no distortion uh, of the aspect ratio uh, which is actually very cool now what exact fit does it it tries to stretch the picture and fill up the entire area but in doing so the, uh, there's a distortion of the image as you can clearly see uh, that it's uh, become m wider than taller right so uh, let me tell you uh, this again that the show all option is the default option uh, right let me get back to the uh, normal screen the original size 450 by 500 right and as you can see that uh, the uh, the icon out here uh, changes now this button as I said earlier as well uh, was uh, achieved entirely through action script right let me come off the uh, debug mode now right uh, people uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, take this tutorial into two parts uh, I'll tell you why uh, for most people part one should suffice but for some people who want to see things done from scratch okay uh, maybe if you're a novice uh, if you're a beginner if you're not too deep into flash you would want to see the uh, part number two but uh, if, if you guys know uh, what's a movie clip what's a button how to create a button how to create a movie clip uh, uh, how to use the library how to import uh, stuff into the library how to bring stuff out from the library onto the stage then I think part uh, one should suffice right so people uh, before you should embark on this project uh, make sure that you drop in the button component uh, from the components panel and push it uh, inside the <coughs> library not only that uh, now that's a prerequisite before you embark uh, on this project before you create this project right not only that I would want you to uh, also import for pictures uh, put, the, uh, put them inside the library 
Uh, I'll tell you which ones. Okay. Now this is the folder where all the uh, assets are kept. Uh, this is the flower file. This is the HTML uh, wrapper. This is the resulting Swift file, and these are the images for the project. <coughs> okay. Now this image. Uh, uh, 128 by 128 px this image 256 by 256 px this very small cross mark which is uh, 22 by 19 and uh, this image uh, the png image uh, should be pulled inside the library uh, just in case uh, you would want to know how so file import import the library right so <coughs> people uh, next uh, make sure that you pull this image and this image out to the stage from the library and I'm sure uh, most of you actually know how to do that these are uh, bitmap images as you can have a look out here they have not been converted to symbols <coughs> excuse me um, uh, so you can leave them as bitmap images just drag them out of the uh, library and uh, push them onto the stage okay then uh, people I would want you to create four buttons and uh, push them on the buttons layer. now how to create buttons is something uh, that I'm sure you actually know right as I said if you're a novice uh, please follow me in part number two okay uh, but uh, for most people I don't think so I need to explain how to create uh, you know these four buttons right uh, I've put the buttons on the buttons layer, the images on the images layer, and the script the action script on the uh, S3 lab, right? Now uh, I have given instance names to these buttons as uh, NS uh, no scale, NB no border. That's the label. Okay, show all SA and uh, exact fit EF, right? So these are the instance names uh, or these buttons. Um, okay, so once you're actually done with the uh, the stage, uh, we can move on to the actions panel. But before that, let me tell you: if you remember, we had actually brought in a uh, you know a, a zoom symbol a zoom symbol and a cross symbol which was um, this one right what I would want you to do is uh, once you get them inside the library uh, push it onto the stage convert them uh, to symbols right convert them to movie clip symbols and push them back inside the library so these are the two symbols right symbol one symbol two the symbol one is for the cross the symbol two is for the uh, the zoom uh, icon okay then what you need to do is you can just double click out here double click in this area which is uh, like this right just double click like this and then uh, under the AS linkage give it a name of cross and zoom all right cross and zoom people uh, this this uh, naming is very very important right so uh, the uh, the cross symbol uh, should have an AS linkage to cross and the uh, the zoom symbol sh should have an AS linkage to the word zoom all uh, lowercase right now this actually prepares the stage properly and uh, all that is left for us to do is to code it out right as uh, as I told you earlier uh, for people who would like to do things done from scratch uh, you should follow me in part number two but I think most people know how to create layers how to rename the layers uh, how to push in objects inside the library how to uh, drag them out onto the stage how to create buttons how to give uh, instance names to these buttons right now uh, the topmost layer is the s3 layer which contains the action script let me open up the actions panel for you okay <coughs> now people uh, this flash uh, file the flower file is available for uh, as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads right so um, if you really don't uh, uh, if you really don't want to uh, code it out uh, which is actually you know, quite time consuming uh, you can just grab the uh, script from the flash file or you can grab the entire flash file right along with the other assets uh, along with the pictures the cross picture the cross icon the uh, which was the other icon one was the cross the other was the uh, zoom icon yep uh, and the pictures everything uh, all the assets will be all bundled up into a zipped file it could be a 7z file or it could be a zip file uh, which you can actually download and uh, extract and uh, you can check the project out right so people uh, let's see what's exactly inside the actions panel right uh, right down below I actually uh, talked about the different uh, uh, scale mode properties 
the values, uh, the different values possible are exact, which show all, no border and no scale. And uh, here is the description of what exactly they mean. Right. Uh, now let's discuss uh, this. Now you see, uh, first of all, I've set the uh, stage alignment to the top left, which is also the default. Right. I've set the stage scale mode to show all, which again is the default. Now uh, I'm in line number six, uh, about to create a pure Action Script three button. Right. And the way to do it is, uh, you create a variable, uh, give it a name, data type it to a button, make it equal to the new instance of the button class. Right. So uh, out here, I'm creating uh, the, a new instance of the button class people. Then, using the add child method, I'm pushing it onto the stage. That is the button, right? And then I'm setting uh, the toggle to true. Now, this is a step that you, if you wish, you can actually uh, skip. When you set the uh, toggle functionality on, once when you press the button, it's uh, convex. Once you press it, uh, then then uh, the moment you press it, it goes concave, right? It depresses in. So you get that uh, effect that has been uh, pushed in. Uh, but if you don't want that, you can uh, very well uh, skip this line. Okay. Now, through the script, I'm setting the size of the button to uh, 100 wide, 30 high, right? So this is the width and the height. I'm also uh, making sure that I'm moving the button to x and y coordinates 15 each. So these, this is the x coordinate, this is the y coordinate, people, right? Uh, if you remember uh, in the library, we had an icon, the zoom icon. Now, how do you get the zoom icon? Push it inside the button. Uh, you have to use the set style method, and uh, this is the syntax. Just write icon and then the uh, AS linkage name in the library, which was zoom. So that will push the uh, zoom symbol, which is lying in the library, inside the button. So use the set style method, people. Uh, next, what I'm doing is I'm using the label property and making it uh, equal to full screen. So the label of the button actually shows up as full screen, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Now what I've done is the same button that I've created with Action Script out here, okay? A pure Action Script three button. I'm adding an event listener to that, and I'm saying that when somebody clicks on that. Uh, button i would want a button listener uh, function to fire and let's see what exactly is there inside the uh, button listener function so um, what we do is uh, we check if the display state of the stage is actually normal so if it's actually in the normal size if it is then i would want the um, <coughs> the uh, the display state of the stage to change to full screen which is the fill up the entire screen or else now this colon stands for else else go back to the normal state so see actually this is an if condition written in a shorthand manner right there are two ways in which you can write the if conditional this is a shorthand manner of writing the if conditional out here we check if the display state is normal if it is then the button uh, the label displayed on the button should be full screen or else this colon is else the button label should be normal screen right uh, we check if the display state of the stage is actually normal. If it is, uh, then the uh, set style should be set to an icon of zoom, or else the uh, set style method uh, of the button should set the icon to a cross. Now, these cross and the zoom uh, symbols are actually available inside the library. You can uh, change uh, my symbols and put on put in your own symbols. That's uh, something you can do as you wish. So you can have your own uh, symbols going there instead of mine, right? We again check if the display state of the stage is actually normal. The, the two possible values could be a normal and um, full size, right? So it's actually normal. Then we uh, set the size of the button to uh, 100 uh, by 30, or else we set the size of the button to 120 by 30, right? Again, this is something that you can actually skip, <coughs> uh, right? Now, people, if you remember, we have four buttons out here. Yeah, that I created. I manually created them. Now, as I said, this tutorial does not actually cover how to uh, make buttons. So, uh, if you know a little bit about Flash, you should be able to create your own buttons. These are all buttons. They've been named uh, NS for uh, no scale, NB for no borders, SA for show all, and uh, EF for exact fit. Right. So, these are the instances of uh, these four buttons. And then, what I've done is. <coughs> I've added event listeners to all these four buttons uh, of the type. Uh, so basically, they check for mouse clicks on these buttons, and whenever that happens, uh, a function called click handler is actually fired for all the four buttons. So we have a common function for all the four buttons: NS, NB, SA, EF. 
right and let's see what exactly is there inside the function so we check if the event dot current target is ns so basically the button pressed is ns I would want the stage or scale mode to be no scale. Now, as I told you earlier, the scale mode of the stage is either no scale, uh, no border, show all, or exact fit. Uh, the show all is the default, right? So we <coughs> excuse me, we check with the button press this NS. If it is, then I would want the scale mode of the stage to be no scale. Uh, else, if it is actually NB, the button press is NB, I would want the scale mode to be no border. Else, if the button press is SA, I would want the scale mode of the stage to be show all, which is the default. And else, if the event.current target is actually EF, so if the button press test is actually EF, okay, so I would want the stage dot scale mode to be exact right. Right. So here is the uh, description of the scale mode property of the stage. So. <laughs> people that is the script okay uh, not too uh, big either okay uh, not even 40 lines of actions to people right uh, let me tell you this once again <coughs> this script um, probably took me um, three to four hours to write you know working on the logic uh, uh, with trial and error actually manage this um, some of you may actually think why does he uh, ever write his uh, code why does he just you know uh, put the code out here and just speak is it uh, that he's actually copying the code from uh, some place and just uh, you know uh, doesn't know uh, how the action script actually works does he uh, not know how to code uh, that's not right uh, the very fact that I don't write the script which most people tend to do so is because uh, I'm a very slow typist okay I may be able to speak quite fast but I'm a very slow typist uh, well it's just the way i am uh, that's one so if i write the code uh, there are chances that i'd uh, actually uh, you know uh, take too long stretch the uh, tutorial the other reason why i do, do, don't like to write uh, the code is because when i'm actually writing the code it takes my attention from what i'm speaking and explaining if i see the code in front of me uh, it uh, you know it actually is very easy for me to explain everything because then my focus is on uh, speaking as well as uh, giving the explanation of the script right so these are some of the reasons why i actually don't like to code out while i'm actually giving a tutorial all right so people um, uh, i think for for most guys uh, watching this tutorial a uh, part one should suffice okay but for some guys who would who don't know how to make buttons who don't know how to actually you know create layers uh, how to use the library items okay uh, how to use the components panel how to push the button buttons component inside the library you know who don't know very fine points you know very uh, uh, basic uh, fundamental things who don't know how to do that i'm going to take this tutorial into part number two and uh, show them how to create the whole thing from scratch right but uh, for most people part one should suffice uh, especially because uh, the whole project uh, along with the assets is actually available as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads you have a good day guys bye bye peace